Hi, paper crafters. Welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today I have another really quick Joe Tips video for you. It's one that you can use whenever you have re-inked your stamp pad. I'm going to show you what it looks like if it's got too much ink on it and three ways that you can get it so that it's not got quite so much ink on it. Let me show you how. So I want to show you what it looks like when you have too much ink on your pad. So this is my old olive and I've recently re-inked it. And there's a couple ways you can tell. First of all, if you see ink around the outside edge that wasn't there before, and you can see that you can pick it up really easy, that usually is an indication that maybe you have a little too much ink on there. The other way is if it... If you see uh, that it is super, super dark, so this is old olive, and I'm going to stamp it here, ink it up really well, and if it's really, really dark, and to me that is really dark, because I want to show you the card, that's what it should look like. So that is hugely uh, got way more ink than it should have. So um, I know that I've got lots of ink here. If I stamp it a couple times, you can see how much ink went on the first one. As well, if it comes through the back, now it's just starting to come through here and along this edge here. So you can see also there's a lot of ink still on the paper. So your ink shouldn't take all that long to dry. So if you have any of those situations happen, then there's a couple things that you can do. The first is you can just leave it open um, and let it dry. So leave it open overnight, let it sort of evaporate. And that may not be the best thing because you're gonna end up uh, sticking something in there. For sure, I would do that. I'd have it on the back of my card or something like that. Another thing that you can do is you can remove some of the ink. And it's not so much remove as move a little bit. So what I do is I take a smooth, uh, just disposable spoon, and you do want it to be sort of curved. You don't want anything, if I were to use this side here, it's actually too sharp. A credit card is also too sharp because you can damage that foam. So what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, just push the ink aside. And what you're going to pick up is some of the ink on the back of the spoon. And then what you're gonna do is just rub that off onto a piece of paper towel or something like that. So you can pick up some of the ink like that. We'll just do a little bit. You can see I've got some. Another thing that you can do, and it's one that I do most often, is I take just some spare uh, paper out of my recycle. You see I've got an old envelope here, just something that you're not going to use. And I pick up the entire pad and I press it right into that paper. So I'm pressing it fairly hard. You're not wanting to uh, twist it around very much because you can remove the uh, foam from the casing if you twist it too much. I'm going to just a little bit, but you can see how much ink I have on here. That is just a huge amount of ink. So I'm going to do that again. And you can just do this a few times. You can see how long that's taking to dry too. And you're going to remove a fair bit of your ink. So now I'm just going to fold that in half. Don't want to turn it over. I'm going to do it again. Okay, and then make sure that you throw that away. You can see that it's getting a little bit lighter right there on the corner. So throw that away. And now I'm going to try and stamp again and let's see if we have a better result. So I'm going to clean off my stamp first, just off camera. And I'm going to pull in this piece again and let's see if it's a little bit better. Not quite, doesn't look quite as dark as it was. Let's see if it's a little bit lighter. And it is a little bit lighter. So you can see I'm getting a little bit more definition now too, where here I wasn't, which is really good, especially if you're using the um, distinctive stamps. So um, I could keep going and take out a little bit more of that ink. I'm gonna say that that's not too bad. And if I were to stamp it again, there we go. So that's a really quick tip for you. I hope you found it useful. Make sure you don't miss another Joe Tips video by clicking on the subscribe button now. And if you've got a paper crafting question niggling at you, drop me an email at joe at designwithjoe.ca and let me help you figure it out. If you're not on my mailing list, get yourself signed up at www.designwithjoe.ca. Thanks very much and have a great paper crafting day.